okay so hello everyone uh, this is a demonstration video in which I'll try to show you the functionalities of Travis app uh, it's an app that I made which will act as a solution to various traffic related issues which prevail in the metro cities of India so I'll just show you yeah so Travis stands for traffic real-time assistant via internet service so it provides assistance to the to the users in a real-time manner and helps them to cope up with various problems that are there with the traffic so in order to use it we have to sign up or, or sign in so we'll just create an account over here the sign up we'll choose a photograph then we'll just write our name and email address sample password and name of the city yeah so we'll just sign up so it's trying to create an account mm -hmm. for me this way we are uh, providing a very secure login in the travel sign up system by making user to write his email address again and the password now we will log in so this is a two step verification login system and yes we have logged in into our account so this is what the Travis app looks like it's having four major features one is the new fe news feed which you are currently watching Another one is the pedestrian mode. Next feature is the parking finder. And the fourth feature is on the top where you can see the icon of two map pointers. That is the four feature. I'll explain each of the features one by one. So as of the feed, the feed is where you'll get all the traffic related updates. This feed will be maintained by people living in the city. So for example, this person, Divyam Bajaj over here has posted that an accident happened uh, or occurred on the MG road and he needs help and urgent people can also give tags so that it will be relevant for other people to understand that what has happened so people can post various things for example accidents then issues related to roads or if there's a diversion somewhere or if there's a traffic jam congestion or again if there's an accident or some normal a post through which they can up through which they, they want if they want to appreciate something like that so in this way people would be able to maintain a feed through which everyone in the city will be able to know that okay what's happening in the real time in the city so that's what uh, this feed is all about so how can one create a feed you just have to press the plus button at the bottom right corner from here you can make a sample feed click in the image you can upload any photo so I'll just upload a sample photo over here then I'll just give a sample name and we'll just add some few tags for example if the, an accident occurred we'll give an accident tag and if it's some road if it's an emergency we'll give emergency tag like that you can give as many tags as you want and you just have to press submit button so it's uploading it's uploading the photo, the tag, and the title. It'll just take a two minute time, two minutes of time. So once the upload is done, uh, this whole post will appear in the feed of everyone. See, for example, over here, we have the feed. So it says uh, it's having Prasang Sharma like like the username who just posted it. Then the image will be loading, and then we have the tags and everything. We can also add comments by just pressing here. We'll just write comment comment one. Like that, we can add any number of comments. We can add any random text to whatever you want. 
you can add it over here so the people in the city but what is actually happening and this will uh, alert everyone in the real time if there is any accident or accident prone area or a division so people would be able to know that okay this is the place where we should not go or this is the place where help is required like that this is how the whole feed system works you if you think that some post is there which is good so you can like that also and uh, uh, you can like it and whatever so in that way it will help to filter out the good post on top uh, with our algorithm the good post with maximum number of likes would be coming on the top so like that then second we have the pedestrian feature the pedestrian feature will help pedestrians uh, in various scenarios for example when a pedestrian uh, or a person walking uh, on the streets is having his phone uh, and he's using his phone so suddenly if he comes in into some accident prone areas or into an area where there is an intersection so what people do they are so much indulged in their phone that they often forget to look around often forget to like they they just ignore the ha hazards which are there on the uh, on the streets so pedestrian mode will help these kind of people or will help the people to alert them if there is any kind of hazard there on the streets so how it works is when you activate the pedestrian mode it will track your location and it will try to uh, find whether you are you are present into some fixed geo locations or some fixed locations or not for example all the intersections all the crossings railway crossings and uh, various other hazardous places which are uh, relatively harmful for the pedestrians are already marked by us uh, on the geo map so when 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 the user activates the pedestrian mode and whenever he comes in around 20 meter of range on those locations he will automatically get an alert that okay you are into a dangerous place and you need to look uh, up and you need to be aware that okay something harmful may occur so that is how pedestrian mode works we'll just activate it now so we have activated it pedestrian mode is activated so uh, right now I'm standing in a place where which lies in 20 meter range of some hazardous place or some hazardous location which is intersection so it just told me that it is there is an intersection at tw in 20 meter range of me so it just gave me a notification over here that Travis alert potential traffic hazard nearby so this way we can save pedestrians from entering hazardous places or traffic prone places or accident accident prone places and uh, even if you are walking on the street with your earphone earphones plugged in so even if then if the alert comes you'll get to know that okay this kind of alert has come i should be alert that there may be a traffic hazard nearby so this this helps basically this is made for pedestrians only so i'll deactivate the pedestrian mode now now these locations the geo locations which are uh, which we have marked on the map that okay intersections railway lines and other places which are harmful for for the pedestrians these are not fixed these are dynamic uh how are they dynamic once the user has posted something on the feed for example if uh, if we take example of this post when the user has posted accident road help urgent these kind of tags our algorithm analyzes these things and it uses the location uh, of the user who has posted this for example this user Divya Bajaj when he posted this photo our app took the latitude longitude or the position of Divya Bajaj and it dynamically converted that geolocation into a hazardous zone so if our pedestrian goes near this area where this accident on MG road occurred then again he'll get to know that okay something wrong has happened over here please be alert so this is how uh, the pedestrian safety mode works the third one is the parking module or the parking finder the parking finder will show you nearby parking spots and their current free spots in real time in the city according to your location so you just click on find two wheeler parking find four wheeler parking any of the two button and it will find you the parking uh, lots for you from the city so I'll just click on find two wheeler parking so it's searching so this is how 
uh, right now we have programmed it in such a way that on our database we have three sample parking lot in the Malhar Mega Mall, in the C21 and in the Treasure Island Mall. So these are the number of free parking spots in Malhar, in C21 and in, uh, in Treasure Island Mall. And uh, these are sorted according to the distance. So when the, when the user clicks open in map, for example, if I click Malhar Mall parking open in map, so it will uh, redirect me to the map of Malhar Mall uh, in the maps. So it works like that. Now, how does it know that there are 24 spots free in Malhar, 102 in C21 and 48 in this? So we made another app, which is Travis Parking Assist. This app controls the working of this app is basically installed uh, in the phone of the guard of various parking slots. So you see the watchman who stands in front of the parking lots, they will have this app, the Travis parking assist. And whenever a four wheeler or two wheeler enters into their parking lot, they will just add or subtract the vehicle. For example, if a four wheeler comes, I'll just add a four wheeler like this into the C21 parking lot or I'll subtract it add subtract whatever you can do a similar goes with two wheeler and and four wheeler so in this way the parking lot uh, security guard will be able to maintain a real time database of number of free parking spots on our server with the use of this travis park assist app we'll give this app to them and they'll be able to update our system in real time and uh, with this app, they'll be able to update all the things. And once I use my Travis app to search parking spots, I'll be easily able to find out the number of free spots like that. So this is the way the parking finder works. Now the fourth feature is the taxi meter app. So the geo taxi meter helps user to track their route on map in real time while they are traveling this way they will not get fooled by taxi drivers on taking wrong route it also has a free calculator that calculates accurate fare in real time so like that so what it will, it will do is it you just go to your current location now when you are traveling in a cab and you are uncertain about the route so you just tell the cab driver to go to that place but uh, you never know that whether he's taking the right route or wrong route or he's taking you from a very long distance but actually there is a, exists a shorter path so with this you just activate the start journey once you activate the start journey it will it will track your current location and accordingly the mo the way you move on the route it will mark your position and will trace your path so this way you'll know that okay I am traveling through this, this, this path and you can just click on the calculate fare. You can write down the rate if it's 20 per kilometer and you can do start fare. So it will start calculating fare also right now. I'm uh, not moving. So that's why it's, it won't uh, increase the value of distance travel and total fare. Otherwise it will increase. So this is how we made it. So this is how the, uh, this feature works. Uh, the, Taxi meter feature was basically made for the uh, passengers which are traveling in, in the in the city because uh, those are the one who need some kind of assistance. So with the parking assist, they'll be able to find out what track they are choosing and they'll be able to accurately calculate the fare and will not get fooled by others. Now I'll click on the uh, uh, second icon on the top which uh, shows you the profile so once a minute it will show my show my profile so it says prasang sharma and it says zero points now prasang sharma is the username which i logged in with which i logged in and zero points is the community points that i'm having so now you'll be wondering what is community points so we built uh, we have built another thing uh, i just made this travis control panel this control panel uh, is for traffic police authorities only and uh, through this app they can change the traffic feed of city with this app they can appreciate a post which they find useful and delete the not so useful post from the feed so for that we require an authentication code right now it's a test code obviously when we'll give this to police we'll change it so in this way we'll unlock it 
so this is the control panel which the traffic police uh, will be getting so through this they can see that what are what all the things that are that people are posting for example this person over here just posted diversion at peepliapala road so in this way they will get to know in real time that what is ha actually happening in the city and uh, they can delete a post for example if i want to delete this post uh, uh, if police want to delete this post they'll just press delete button and it will get deleted from our server so they can control the whole feed without any intervention and uh, they can also appreciate a post for example if they find the sample post is good so they can click on appreciate button and once they do it uh, i'll just show you that if i come to my profile and i check my profile see i've got 10 points because uh, the police traffic police person authority over there appreciated my post so i got 10 points reward these community points can be later on used for various purposes and so one can maintain all these things so this is how i made a set of three apps one is the travis app which is the major app to be used by the user and the other two apps are the assistance app one will be at the parking lot uh, security guard and the other one will be used by the traffic police people for controlling the whole thing so it acts as a control panel and so in this way the travis app helps uh, normal users, motorcyclists, uh, uh, car drivers in providing a real-time feed so they'll be alert all the time and they can alert other people also by posting on a, a, their own feed it will help pedestrians in the pedestrian mode so by keeping them safe from various hazards on the road and it has parking finder through which it will help two-wheelers and four-wheelers drivers to quickly reach to the parking lots and it has the traffic uh, and it has the taxi meter feature geolocation with, through which it will help the passengers which are traveling in the city to uh, to actually not get fooled by the cab drivers or the bus drivers and to also accurately calculate the fare so this was all uh, about the travis app thank you